from the mundane to the magical in just five minutes. This is going to be an introduction to using the Dr. Racket editor. We're going to start simple. There is a cursor. Here, let's haul our mouse over here. You see that cursor? It's blinking. You can move it up and you can move it down and left and right. No big deal uh, there. It will probably also not surprise you that uh, you can hold down the shift key and highlight pieces of text. I hope that you also know that when a region of text is highlighted that you can cut using Command X and you can paste using Command V. Okay. Neither of those should come uh, as a surprise. Uh, you can also copy, but you know I find I don't, <laughs> don't do that that very much. All right, uh, that's the regular stuff. All right, here's the interesting stuff. When you position the cursor next to, specifically outside of a parenthesis, the contents of the matching pair of parentheses is highlighted. Right. Here it is. Here's another one, the inner one and the outer one. That's great. When we hold down the Option key and left or right, we can move back and forth by a full matching pair of parentheses at once. I'm going to the end, going to the beginning. I'm going to the end, I'm going to the beginning. I'm going to the end, I'm going to the beginning. If we hold down shift while doing that, then we can highlight complete matching expressions like this. I'm highlighting each of these in turn. And I can also, of course, cut and paste whole S expressions at once. Right? Okay. Yeah. Cut and paste. Great. So if I wanted to, let's say, re flip these pair, cut and paste. Undo, undo, undo. Great. Okay. But that's not all. There's another set of motion keys associated with option. When I do option up, it goes out by one pair of parentheses. Out out, out. Okay, so in fact, if I'm here, right here, and I want to be at the end of the enclosing X ex S expression, I can hit option up and to the right. If I want to highlight the S expression I'm in, I can hit option up and then shift option right. Okay. There are a bunch more keystrokes, but they start to get a little more interesting. <clears throat> you can also take the expression that you're currently on and move it outward by deleting everything else around it. This is the first keystroke that I'm going to be using that requires that you have the uh, Emacs bindings enabled. So if I do Control-C, Control-O, then the inner thing moves out. I've discarded the outer path. I'm going to undo this. Again, here, if I want to take this out, this also works on things like identifiers. I'm going to move this outward, discarding the context around it. All right. But wait, there's more. Mm, actually, I'm going to stop there. 